All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarisha. And this is Conversations with the Crawleys. On this channel, we have conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps, reviews of some of our favorite shows. And this one is all about family or fiance. Big question there. So yeah. if this is content that you enjoy, make sure that you're hitting that subscribe, hit the like, request notifications, and share. And we will see you in the comments. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. These shows <laughs> got me on a whole other level. Listen, I don't, yeah. All right, so we've got this episode, we've got Donzella and Paul. Correct. Um, and he's a retired entertainment corporate attorney. Mm -hmm. um, and they met because he's evidently, I guess, he could help her in her desire to be on TV and mm -hmm. ent entertainment. Looking, lo and behold, he did help her get on TV. Yeah. I hope yeah. she has some other things going on besides. She needs some other things. Uh, conflict resolution. Yes. So they've been together four and a half, almost five years, or depending upon whose timeline, 18 years, who knows. Um, they've not been accepted, or she's not been, Donzella's not been accepted by his family. Mm -hmm. They don't call. They don't reach out. Correct. They don't hug. They don't acknowledge her birthday. They do nothing. They She don't exist. She does not exist to them. So he's got three sisters coming. Right. She has her son, her best friend, and her nephew. And I'm just going to say her side, yeah, I'm, it's they're suspicious. Close. Right. I, they're suspicious. She just bought the people that would just definitely agree with her. Agree with her. Because her side was just like, yeah, they had no idea what was going on. It would be interesting if she decided to bring her ex-husband. <laughs> um. And for him, all of his sisters, him and his sisters, they've not all been together Correct. in 10 to 12 years. Correct. So they had the initial meeting with Tracy. And yes, it's Tracy, not Terry, like we called her last video. All apologies when we're trying to get together the first episode. It happens. It happens. We It's Tracy. It's Tracy. Tracy. Gotcha. All right. So they meet with Tracy. And um, again, they just kind of reiterate how they met. Um, her ex-husband, Donzella's ex-husband, knew Paul and recommended that she reach out to Paul. Paul can help her because he's an entertainment attorney. And little did he know. He was going to help her, all right. Oh, he helped her. He helped himself and he helped her. Okay. Um, when they met, they were both married to their ex-spouses. Well, and that's not what they said. No, they said that they were both married to their ex-spouses. Oh, when they, when they met. met. Okay. Okay. When they met, they were married to their both, both married to their ex-spouses. Okay. We'll get into the timeline discrepancies. And yes, there are several. Okay. Uh, 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 not, not several. All their timelines were messed up, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, her husband told Paul, do whatever you need to do to get Donzella to be successful in entertainment. And Paul said... Say less. He did what he needed to do. Um, but I appreciate Tracy because Tracy was like, y'all telling a whole lot of story. And anytime anybody tells a whole lot of story, it's almost like you're trying to convince me of the things that you've convinced yourself of. Um, and we were saying we just met them and we don't believe them. Or at least I don't believe them. I speak for myself. Well... To me, when he says he was living with his ex-wife and the ex-wife put him out because she found out that he was messing with Donzella, I said, those statements don't make sense. Yes. Are you trying to say she was an ex-wife in your head? Because it doesn't sound like y'all were split up if someone's very upset coming to you saying... Well, well he was saying... He was saying his now ex-wife, he was living with her and they were married at the time. So no, 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 he didn't say that. That's what he was. that what he's trying to say? Yes. Yeah. He's trying to say that when when he was with his ex-wife, his ex-wife kicked him out and became his ex-wife after she kicked him out because she thought that they were having messing around. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Is that what he was saying? Yes, <laughs> that's what he was saying. I don't think so. I think he was trying to say... He wouldn't, he wouldn't live with his ex-wife as his ex-wife. He She became the ex-wife after she kicked him out 
because I, he was messing with Donzella. He could have said, my wife at the time. Tarsha, don't, don't, don't listen, get semantic. Listen, listen, they can't keep their day straight. So exactly. Don't, don't ask them to keep the title exactly. straight. Exactly. Exactly. Because in his head, that was his ex. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm at least going to help him out in this. You, oh, you helping he was, him out? I'm helping him out because he was saying his ex-wife, as in present tense, she's my ex-wife, but I was with her at the time because they were married. And then she kicked him out. And then she became his ex-wife. That's what he's saying. I don't know how you get the other part, but that's okay. It's late. I got you. No, it's not being late. I'm just trying to say he's making the semantics to feel like he's not at fault for what he was doing with Don. At this point, he's he doesn't feel he's at fault because remember, we'll get into it. Right, but that's what I'm getting to. That's what I'm just informing you is that he's not trying to feel that way because at this point, he doesn't feel like he's done anything wrong. Right, but there we he, go. Yeah, he, it's, there his, go. it's his wife at the time that he got kicked out. There we go. All right, so. Um, the family does think that they were engaging romantically at the time while they were still married. So that's the issue right there with the mm -hmm. sisters. So the sisters come, um, Alexis, Demetrius, and Rhonda. Um, and basically when they show up, Alexis is like, don't hug me. I'm walking right past you. Keep moving. She's like, I don't want to be bothered. Because if that's how I feel, that's how I feel. I ain't going to be pretending here right. at all. Uh, so their task is when everything, when all the families come together, mm -hmm. their task is for him to sit down with her family mm -hmm. and her to sit down with his family mm -hmm. and go over the relationship timeline mm -hmm. because this is the brunt of the issue as far as the sisters at Correct. least. Her side of the family could care less. They're just like, we got a free trip. We don't care. They don't know him. So it's like, well, we're here to probably to get to know you because you're right. about to be a part of our family. So they do have the the, the concern meeting, right? Right. So her friend just wants to make sure, her friend Shelly is like, I want to just make sure you're doing it for all the right reasons. Devin is, Devin's like completely clueless. Devin's like, you know, the divorce rate is high. So I just want to make sure y'all don't get divorced. I understood. I get it, but. What else is he supposed to say? He don't know. Her. Because he doesn't need to be there. He why? was, why? He doesn't really have an issue with them being married. He really doesn't, other than only thing he could think of was he don't want to. So it's not really divorced. family or fiance. It's it's people that are co-signing for my fiance oh. alongside my fiance. Okay, so, from her side. So if her family really doesn't have an issue, she should only bring two people or only bring one person that might have an issue. But if the premise is your family is not willing or is unwilling or not trying to give their blessing, the her side of the family doesn't care in many respects. Her side of the family is just like, they didn't we're here. We got... They didn't say that. The son is just like, I don't want my mom hurt. Got it. Cool. Makes sense. That's every son. To, I get that. Right. The son... Be there? Absolutely. The friend, I don't know that the friend really had an issue with them getting married. And the nephew's just like, auntie, what you want? So. Hey. She had to pick who she wanted to pick. I just think it was trash. But that's me. It was <laughs> <I> trash. <see. laughs> she had trash. Not calling them trash. But her choices were trash as far as just providing something as far as going. she had to come up with three people so she came up with her three people she was basically at the family reunion was like you you and son you definitely come but you and you you getting a free trip you get a trip you get a trip that's basically what she did he brought his sisters so Rhonda, demetrius and alexis are all like we want to make sure y'all are good as a couple there's some things that we've heard. Alexis is like, I'm pro-marriage. I'm against cheaters. And I want an apology because y'all use me to cover for y'all cheating. I agree with what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be put in the middle of that. No. Or give me the opportunity to tell you no, that I don't want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, she might be thinking even the ex-husband maybe thought she was a part of all of it, you know, mm -hmm. allowing her brother to hook up with his wife. So I get it. Yep. So they do go have their task. 
and their timeline. So, um, I stopped right. Alexis yeah. said that the timeline is not needed because Alexis is like, I was there. I know what time it was. I, I don't, I, I have no questions about it. Y'all were cheating. <laughs> Period. Blank. All this other fluff, all this other stuff you're making up. So what year did we get married? I know we got married in 1996. All right. What year did we meet? We met in 1994. See how easy that is? See see how easy that is? Our first date was at Denny's. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. No, we met at Denny's. Our first date right. was at Friday's. Right. I picked you up from your job at JCPenney's. <laughs> See, that's pretty easy when you know oh what happened. God. But they had a two-year discrepancy on when they met. They had a difference of dates. Now, again, I can get with June of 2021 versus September of 2021. I can get with that. I, I'm okay with a discrepancy of a few months. But, but years? 720 days? years off i was like and you don't know when you got engaged years off so i was like wow this is amazing yeah so again we just saw them as far as we just met them on this episode i don't believe them right so alexis again basically they um, Alexis walks out of that conversation because there's also Alexis brings up, but there's a picture that I don't know how she saw it because it was on, uh, Paul's phone. Correct. But there's a picture evidently of Donzella with her breast exposed and Paul is next to her with his tongue making a suggestion towards her breast. Right. And this is when. They were both still married at the, time. at the time. So Alexa's like, you can't even explain that. So I'm done because I don't think oh, she cheaters. explained it. She explained that she was grown and that she wasn't upset or want to apologize for her being grown. Yeah. That's what she stated for that photo. So when I'm upset, yeah, she, she just doesn't, she doesn't have an explanation that makes sense or that works or that fits the timeline. It doesn't fit the timeline. Um, so they do have family dinner. Alex, excuse me, Donzella's side is like, we're just learning so much about you, Paul. Things are just wonderful. The son is like, y'all jealous of my mama. I was like, I'm, at this point, what? Donzella is pointing to Alexis and like, we didn't get a chance to finish our conversation. You wouldn't talk to me. You walked away. And Paul's like, what? Did that really happen? And she's like, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about this. And Donzella was like, well, what are you here for if you don't want to talk about this? Mm -hmm. And so for me, I think that would have been a very good point to be very candid mm -hmm why you felt the way you felt so True. her side of the family doesn't look like oh she just hates her oh she's just saying stuff and she just doesn't like my mom my my friend or whatever she could have pointed out True. okay what did paul actually tell you about the timeline because the timeline we got because i would have wrote it down took a photo of my cell phone and said because your mother said they met here your mother said they did this. Your mother said this. And then they'd be like, well, hold on. Paul's timeline is two years different. Right. Then they would have had a clear understanding of why Alexis felt the way she felt. Because the way that this exercise would have had value, right, would have been for have all the family members there, right, and then have Paul go and, and have fill in the blanks. Right. Have Paul fill in the blanks of when they met, when the L.A. trip was, whatever. Have Donzella on the other side of the house doing the same thing and then coming together and saying, these are our dates. Because then his side of the family would be like, this is why we confused. And then her side of the family would be like, yeah, I can see why they confused. 
But right now what happened is that they just had this separate meeting and they just separately went through the timeline. So as far as uh, Donzella's side, all they know is what Paul told them. And to them, it makes sense. Okay, I get it. These are the dates. It makes sense. Whereas when Alexis and, or when Paul, excuse me, when uh, Donzella is meeting with Paul's sisters mm -hmm. and they're laying down and she's laying out the timeline, they're like, that don't make sense. Because Alexis, again, she was like, I was there. You can't tell me it was 2019 and I know it was 2014. You can't do that. Yep. And so, I mean, a son will want to protect their mom. True. It's like, I don't know what's going on yeah, and cool. why you hating on my mother like this. And so I felt like that would have been a great time to say, this is why we don't feel this way. It's not that we're jealous. We just ain't rocking with her. Because Alexis is like, she has an intense dislike for people that cheat. So, um, so Donzella's like, because Alexis, again, she kind of gets up because Donzella's picking at her. In some respects and Don, i think alexis was trying she was like look i don't want to engage i don't really hear want to hear anything you have to say because you're you're not being truthful about a lot of things because you can't tell me what i lived and did not live you're not acknowledging what my truth is right and how i felt like you it, you put me in a part of y'all mess yeah so i'm gonna stab you with this fork if you keep coming so at me. <laughs> They go off. The other sisters step to defend their sister. Paul is silent. Correct. Paul don't say nothing. Um, oh, he does say something. Well, yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. How can you be this way? He gives everything of making accusation to his sister and not giving truth to her experience. Right. So, yes, I'm sorry. He did say something, but nothing of value. I'll Nothing that that's way. helping the situation. Right. So next morning, um, they get up. The sisters greet their brother. Walk right past Don's other. They're not rocking with her still. Um, so then they go out. Or excuse me. So then Don's and Paul have another meeting with Tracy. And uh, Tracy's like, okay, let's let's get to the heart of it. Let's get to how things were, right? And she's like, you, you, know, you guys have been kind of coloring outside the lines as far as cheating. Okay. Um, and she gets to the heart of it. She's like, okay, talk to me about the body painting. Pulls out the picture on the phone. She's like, yeah, um, that don't seem right. Ask Donzella, if your husband were to do that, would you have an issue? Would that be okay? No, absolutely. It would be a problem. Okay. So now do you understand? Well, I, it, it, it was just something we did. Okay. And, and, and I'm sorry, as far as grown folks, I don't know why you have to tell grown folks that cheating is only intercourse or is not only intercourse because Paul was like, that's new to me. I'm that's enlightening me that, that, okay. Yeah. So we were, we were vibing before, but go it's, ahead. It's delusion. Yeah. And when you don't want to admit to something that is causing pain to others, mm -hmm. And to the people that you were in love with, you would stay in delusion. Mm -hmm. And so who wants to acknowledge that they've hurt people they said they were going to be committed to and love? No one. Right. So I'd rather say in delusion about how I how all this occurred in my head because mm -hmm. I don't want to feel the pain that I've caused others. True. And that's what occurred in this situation. Mm -hmm. Now... Tracy does, again, she calls them on it um, and says that Alexis has a point. Can you see that? Um, Donzella's like, no, what have you. And Donzella tries to flip it on Tracy. And Tracy's like, are you really trying to take what you just said was a problem and would have been an issue if your husband did that to you and now try and turn it on me and turn it around? So. And she's like, I, I guess not. Because again, you have to face the reality mm -hmm. of what you cause. Yeah. So they they are now assigned to for him to go talk with his sisters and a psychologist. Um, so he meet Paul meets with his sisters and the psychologist, uh, and he's like, you know, I was I was enlightened to the definition of cheating. Okay. Good for you. 
again, you're not 19, you're not 23, you're probably in your 40s, maybe even 50s, maybe even later than that. Um, and you're just getting enlightened to that. Kudos to you. Uh, so Alexis, again, felt that she was used as a cover because essentially, you know, Paul would tell his wife at the time, I'm going out with my sister. And because who thinking anything going on if you're going out with your sister, the wife was like, okay, cool. But then Paul and his sister would go out and then find out they're meeting up with Donzella. Right. Um, and so he's like, okay, yeah, I, I could see how that might've been a little thing. So I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to put you in that position or didn't mean to put you in that position. Mm. I call garbage, but okay. She accepted his apology. She accepted. That's for her to accept. Yep. That is for her to accept. But also they find out that they have a, a problem with conflict. Mm -hmm. And when you have a problem with conflict resolution, Things do not get resolved. Yep. So, and then with not keeping things under the rug or not confronting, that means you also have a problem with communicating. Mm -hmm. And so when you have a lack of communication, you can't confront situations, mm -hmm. you have this dynamic you create with your siblings or the people that you love that tears down the relationship. Yep. And they truly want a connection with their uh, brother, right. you know, and he says he wants a connection with them. Yeah. And the psychologist makes a very good point. What happens if mm -hmm. your sister never likes your wife? Because it's not about in this moment trying to resolve that. Right. It's being in the truth of the moment of what are you going to do if they don't, they don't vibe with her. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, I guess I got to side with my wife. And she was like, that's nope. not the right answer. Wrong answer, my brother. That's not the right answer. Because you, what he has to eventually do is he's got to continue his relationship with his sisters, right? Because can we just be honest? Your first marriage failed. So this marriage, not saying it's going to fail, but there's a potential, right? So after that, if that does happen, your sister still can be there for you. They're your blood. They're your blood. Ideally, your and, and their their concern is not just they don't like her just because they don't like her because of how it what they're perceiving is how it made their brother respond because they had higher expectations of their brother. Right. They want they want him to at least honor his commitment to right. his first wife. Right. You know they didn't say they didn't like her or liked her or not. They were just like, we just wanted you to be committed and then make sure you resolve that. And if you end it, end it right end before it right. moving into the next before thing. Before you move into the next relationship. Because did you left yourself time to heal from your first marriage? Because you well, found someone in your on marriage? Depending on the timeline, he had about 10 years to heal. He, depending on was, he did really <laughs> say there was a year in there. Depending on, on which timeline you listen to. So, <laughs> so I get the concern and mm -hmm. being upset and like, you know, cause I would, I would wanted to hear that. Like my concern is why I can't give my blessing is, did you even heal? You went right out of this one relationship, right into another relationship. So that's concerning for us. Yeah. S but at this point it's like the psychologist is saying, no, your wife has to step up and say, I want to be a part of your life. And if that takes me going over there and taking that they may not like me, mm -hmm. but as long as they're going to stay cordial, right? I'm not right. going to, I'm not going nowhere where someone's going to be abusive to me. Right. But they said they was going to be cordial to her, mm -hmm. but they don't have to overly like her. Right. That, uh, I'm not expecting them to to sit around the kitchen table and just have a, a and kick in and I'm not expect right, but at least y'all can be around the same house. You may be outside, they be inside, whatever it might be, but y'all can at least be in the same house around the same house and being cordial. Can you pass me the potato salad? Cool. The weather was cold yesterday. Cool. It can be all superficial, nothing, all surfacey. Doesn't have to be intense. And it could be a balance. Paul could say, hey, babe, my sister's having an event. We're going to stay an hour. That 
because my sister, we know they don't like you. You don't like them. They're not, we're not going to be vibing, but yeah. let's go for an hour and then we'll come home. There's ways to do it. There's compromise there. Yeah. So, um, there is also the state because Paul brings up that evidently Alexis had called, uh, Donzella, um, a bleeping whore, mm -hmm. right? Um, Alexis is like, that's not language I use. The sisters are co-signing that. Mm -hmm. um, so then they all go into the table. After that meeting, they all go to the table and they're talking. And Paul is kind of recapping that meeting with the sisters, and uh, the psychiatrist or psychologist. Um, and Donzella again insists that, no, you did use that word. Um, and I, at that time, I was like, it's interesting. She can't remember the timeline, but she knows something about a text. Oh, she knows somebody called her name. Yeah. So... Um, Alexis did go back on her phone. She looked at she Google looked through voice. her Google Voice and was like, "Yeah, I kind of did." did. <laughs> My bad. Now, she did let her sisters know because her sisters defended her, but then also she's like, she pulled Donzella aside and apologized to Donzella, right? So I can I, again, I, can I give her credit that. for that because it, listen, in the heat of the moment, you'll say stuff you don't remember. Cool. Stuff that may be out of character, stuff that may not be how you normally communicate. But once you, you recognize that, oh, there's truth to that, that I did say that, own it. Own it. And and, and make amends and move forward. And move on. And that's the important thing, mm -hmm. right? Because she she's going to keep bringing it up, bringing it up. So this is how conflict resolution. Yep. I'm going to resolve it. Let me look and see if I did it. Let me see if I have anything. You found it. First, like she did. Great job. Hey, guys, you, you had my back on this. I was wrong. Yep. I was wrong on this one, you know, and I admit it, and I'm going to go to her, and I'm going to explain that I was wrong, and I'm going to apologize Because she for actually could have been like, I found this, but I ain't saying nothing, and right. I kept it quiet as a mouse. Right. So they, she might be like, yeah, I, I did, and you are, so <laughs> who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be dismissive about we, the whole thing. And here's the thing. With Google Voice, you could actually create, like, a virtual number, a different number. So you could just go ahead and keep sending that to her from different virtual numbers. Be like, I don't know what's going on with you. Somebody must really not like you in the 303 area code. All right, so they do have a last minute, last meeting with Tracy, and they do, or at least Paul kind of does admit that there was a vibe that was happening mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. they were actually, you know, done with their, their mm -hmm. previous marriages. Mm -hmm. So then it's time for the blessing ceremony, which I don't know why I would call it a blessing. There's a blessing meeting. It's a blessing meeting. There's a blessing in the storm. All right, so Shelly who is the friend who is going to co-sign anything, say, yes, you have my blessing. Devin's like, yeah, I'm still concerned about the divorce rate, but you have my blessing. Justin gives his blessing, the son, and says that he wants to be in the wedding and he's going to give his mother his mother away. Mm -hmm. Expected. Um, Rhonda, one of the sisters, says, yes, they give their blessing. Alexis is like, okay, yes, I'll give my blessing. Demetrius is like, Y'all gonna have to wait. Jury's still out. I just met you. It's been three days. I don't know you yet. So, and after what I saw this weekend, I'm not ready to give my blessing just yet. At least she's being honest. We're getting one honest answer. So they got five out of six saying yes. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as the epilogue, as far as what we see happening, so they're still planning their 2023 wedding. So next year, mm -hmm. they should be getting married, getting married sometime. He's meeting and still communicating with his sisters. Um, but Donzella is, or Donzella. 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 Get it right now. Don't come for me. Donzella mm -hmm. is just not interested in connecting with Alexis. And seen. I don't get it. You got your apology. All right. You did get the apology. I feel like that's big. Now, again, we don't have to become best friends. Unless you feel guilty about the fact that you did put her in a situation and you don't want to do that because she's a reminder that you did do that. There you go. But other than that, she's apologized to you. She says she's willing to try and work for it with you, but you still go cut her off. Cool. Alexis is like, cool. I've still got connected with my brother and my sisters. And that's the important thing. 
you might be temporary because he might find somebody else to go body painting with. So, all right. Well, look, that's it for this recap. We'll see you all next time. Have a great one. Be blessed.